You really know who my father is? You stood in my damn face, I'm not blaming everybody else okay. and take responsibility. I can't get it. Right now. Thanks for coming in and thanks for watching. Abandonment, abuse, and neglect. Three painful wrongs none of us ever want to experience. But when your mom does it to you personally, the pain can be almost too much to bear. Take a look at this. My name is Brittany, and I'm here because I need answers from my mother. I'm here to find out why my mother abandoned me. I was only two years old when I was given up for adoption. I always knew that I was adopted, even though no one ever told me. I was 19 when I finally found out who my parents were, and that my mother had raised five other siblings without me. I have so many questions that I need answered. I really need to know why I was singled out. My heart breaks every day when I think about how she gave me up. Why was I the only one that she didn't want? Why? Please welcome Brittany to the show. Brittany, how you doing, honey? Why are you here today? I'm here, Bill, because when I was two years old, my mom gave me away. But what doesn't make sense to me is that she raised my older siblings and she raised my younger siblings, but I was the only one that she gave up for adoption. So today you want answers from your mom. She raised five others, yes, five. but she rejected you. Yes. Any inkling as to why? I have no idea. That's why I'm here. You want to find out? Yes. Do you have early memories of your life? No, I don't. None? None. Have you blotted them out? Have you heard things that yeah. happened to you? Family members have told me about that she abused me, that she put me in a drawer, that she put me in a freezer, she burned me. I mean, it's so much. And when I asked her about it, she denied everything. But you know? So you, you were born biologically of your mom. Yes. And you finally saw her two or three months ago. You went into the adoptive system. Yes. Then you were rejected when you were a teenage girl from your adoptive parents. Yes. Then you went back into the foster care yes. system. Is that correct? That's correct. And what impact has that had on your life? It's made me a stronger person, honestly. I don't look like what I've been through, and I'm blessed. So. Now, everybody has two parents, not just one. Yes. What about your father? He's in my life, um, but... It wasn't his decision to give me away. He went to jail. Um, he went to jail for? For, for murder. Murder? Yes. Your father is a convicted murderer? Yes. And weren't you told your mother was dead? Yes, I was. Explain my, that. When I was 17, I had a social worker, and one thing about me is I never gave up looking for my mom, you know, my siblings. And because I used to always, you know, bug them about trying to find my family, I guess I irritated my social worker and she lied to me and said that my mother was dead. So me not having any information, I had nothing, to, you know, I, I didn't have any information so I had to believe what she said. So for two years, I just thought my mom was dead and I felt hurt because I was like, why would God take her from me and I didn't even get to meet her yet and it broke my heart. You want to grieve your mother's death, you did that and then you found out she's not dead. So you don't know which way to go. So you connected with her on social media. Yes. Well, what happened? She found my Facebook from my older sister, and she told me to call her. She gave me her number. Were you shocked? Yes, because it's like... Happy or sad? No, I was I was happy, but then it was so many mis mixed emotions because at one point I'm like, she's dead. Then it just jumps to she's alive, and she wants to talk to me on the phone. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I didn't... I just kind of went with it. I didn't... Did, did, did other family members mention to you about the abuse that you went through that you've blocked down? Yes. Alleged abuse? Yes. And you were told what from other family members? I was told that um, she, I was, a, I was premature, so I was told that she put me in a drawer and she closed it. Oh, wow. And it was several family members, not just one. So it was like multiple people telling me, yes, she did this. Yes, she did this. So I'm like starting to believe it. You know, I only can go off of what people are telling me. So I'm like, I asked her about it. What she, she denied? She denied everything, everything that I asked her. Did you believe your mom? When she said she did not abuse you, did you believe that at the time? No. You believe she I had? Look it in her, I could see it in her eyes. So why would you want to connect with your mom then if she abused you? Because growing up, nobody, like a lot of people don't understand how it feels to be a teenage girl and not have a relationship with your mother. 
And after everything that I've been through, it's like, after all these years, I didn't spend all those years looking for her just to get a dead end. Like, you know, I'm not the type of person that's just going to give up. I left everything that I had in California. I had my apartment. I was starting college, everything. I dropped everything. I dropped everything because, to me, it's like, I waited my whole life for this. So if I have to put school back, I'm going to put school back. It's okay. I can go later, you know? So I dropped everything that I had. Um, I took a bus from California. To, to Iowa. Yes. So that was a two-day trip. <laughs> dropped it. You, your life. <laughs> you want a family. Yes. You want brothers and sisters yes. and aunts and uncles and a mother. Yes. Your, your dad's out of the picture permanently. But you And so you would get off the bus in Iowa what happened she comes up to me and she hugs me and she's crying and I'm like but you had I, no tears no no tears at all why it's it was something about it to me it was like it was fake I always pictured that moment when I was little I thought I would cry and just hug her and hold her but when she hugged me I was just no no emotion no I didn't feel anything why did you contact me to reconnect with your mom and to meet for the first time today one of your siblings why because you still have that urn. That, that I do. I have that drive. It's. Not, I don't know what it is about me, but I just don't want to give up. And I don't want anybody to say, you didn't try it with her. You know, you just listened to what everybody said. No, I'm obviously here on the show, you know, to get answers. And that's you want to I find out who you are. Yes. And you want a family. Yes. And you want answers from her. Yes. There's at least two sides to every story. There's. And your mom has a story to tell. Please welcome Brittany's mom, Demetria, to the show. Demetria, come on out. Why are you staring at me like that? Yes. You've heard what you're Exactly. Gone. That's why I'm upset. Tell me. Upset at what? Because you believe everything somebody had to tell you. I put you in a drawer. I put you in a freezer. I did all this. I did all that to you. But when I told you, it wasn't good enough for you. Because of what everybody am I, no. telling me. That Who is everybody? Were they there, all Brittany? Were members. they there? Were they there? Obviously, if they The person you. that was there is dead. I told you what happened. What I happened? Don't you. I what put happened? you in the drawer, stood over the drawer, put Why my makeup you put on. You was little. You was you little. On the bed. It, it, it doesn't bed. matter. My that son was no jumping sense. out over the bed. That I didn't close no the sense. I didn't close the drawer. I didn't drawer. close the drawer. That makes no sense. You still put a baby in a drawer. I can do what I want. And that's why we're in the situation that we're in. The you drawer wasn't closed. Why did you do what you did? I didn't want her. I was gonna give her I was gonna give her up from the beginning. When I was with my ex, that was only an overnight thing. My husband, for 21 years, I was with him. And then when I came up, when I was pregnant with her, I already knew from the jump, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want the baby. And you wanted to terminate the pregnancy. Down. Yes, I did. How do you think she feels when she now learns she wasn't supposed to be alive? I don't care. Oh. What do you mean? You gave birth. You went through the, you went through the pain. A bird, are you okay, Brittany? I don't. I think that's a weapon you use. I don't think you believe that. You want to hurt her, and you said that to make her feel bad when you don't believe it. Why I did not make you get up and leave California. That was your choice. She wanted to I told, you, I told you to stay there, didn't I? I told you to stay there. I was coming there to you. I wanted you to stay there, go to school, get you a job. But no, you listened to my ex. She oh, wanted to I'm find out who she was. She wants to anchor it. She wants a family. I she wants a loving her. mother. I was coming to her. I didn't want her to uproot anything. I was coming to her. What What name do you have on your chest, Brittany? I have her name. Take it out. Exit out. Exit out. I'd have to think, Mom, you're doing this in retaliation. It can't be your true feelings. Mom's in the audience. Can this be her true feelings? I pray to God, no. What is it? I gotta find out. Because she believed everybody else. I, I but told you know, Brittany, did you abuse her? No, I did, did not. You abuse her no, I did not. Her no, I did not. No, I did not, Bill. Uh, uh, no, I did not. God is your witness. You God is my witness. I had I seven not. children. Never had CPS in my house. Why did you keep six and not the seven? I didn't want her. You don't want her. You want me to lie? Wow. We have more coming up. Stay right there. The hits just keep on coming. If God asked me out of the seven kids, which one you want me to take, I would have taken you. And this relationship reaches its breaking point. My kids is tired of you disrespecting you.
Because I don't want to be, I don't want to in my life. You won't believe what happens next. I do not think it is a good idea for these two sisters to reunite. Whoa! I'm a done. I do believe that your high expectations led to your broken heart. And you also need to just back off with the past and the past. Let's move on. Today's about connections between mothers and daughters and unwanted. Let's break this down a little bit, Demetria. I like to say again, I'm a parent. You cannot be heartfelt in your comments toward Brittany. There's got to be, a lot of times parents use weapons because they're in pain and you want her to feel as bad as you're feeling. When you got that, when she got to Iowa, imagine taking a two-day trip on a bus to see her mom and to connect with her siblings. And then a big blow-up took place. What happened in Iowa when she came there? What happened that caused you to say, that's it? Everything was fine. We were talking. She'd get in my bed. We'd, we'd talk. We'd watch TV. I'd ask her about her life. I would tell her about my life. I would tell her about her sister's and mother's life. Not. Stop lying. See, this is the problem. You, so you didn't get in my bed? We didn't I talk? Did. What did we talk about? We didn't, what did we talk about? We didn't talk about anything. You sat there in the bed and watched TV. What did we talk about? What were you doing? On the phone. But what okay. we did talk. You, but only time you. you brought, only no. time you brought anything out is when you when my ex got on the phone telling you, oh, your mom did this, first your mom all, did that. First of all, you're the one that gave me away. I didn't give me away. So what? You should have brought me to your house and explained so things what? right then and there. Why? I didn't have to come to you Why? about anything. Why? Why do you I hate her? did it. Why do you hate you her so much? I didn't say I hate her. What has she done? I don't hate her. Your behavior I indicates to me her. that you hate her. I just her. don't want to deal with her. How do you love her and treat She's her like this? She's crying on the you stage, but me. oh, on the phone, talking big mess, and on Facebook, talking big mess, and all you that. you just me. You called me ugly. You called me a beast. You called me fat. You said I'm but not what did from you. You, that you said we need a DNA test. You're not mine. My kids is tired of you disrespecting me. Because you I don't want to be. I don't want you in my life. I don't care. If you wouldn't be like that, if you wouldn't be like that, maybe I would want you in my life. She can leave. You need to get out the past. You need to get out the past. Shut up, Michelle. Ain't nobody worried about you. You shut up. She came on the show to show out. She. That's what you got. We came here because of you. We came here because of you. You wanted me on TV. Shut up. Mom, hold on. Let me read. 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 Let me I didn't even love you enough to go to the doctor when I was pregnant with you. You said, the worst time in my life was when I found out I was pregnant with you. If God asked me out of the seven kids, which one do you want me to take, I, w I would have taken her. I would have taken you. You're trash. So I am. Is that the way you truly feel? Honestly. There was a reason why I put that on there from all the comments. You're that trying to hurt her. There. You're trying to hurt well, her. Why she want to hurt me? She wants to connect with you in this show. You don't connect with nobody like that, Bill. I was given away. I didn't connect with my mother like that. Shut up. That's what you you're shut trying up. to play the victim. You're trying to play the victim. You, you are know, all first of all, the victim. You're the first victim. Of all, shut that up. was your choice to have three kids at 19. I'm so almost what? 20 years old. So I'm almost 20 years old. I got no kids. You, and I'm, I'm married too. And I'm married too. But you wasn't married when you had all them babies. Oh, I'm married now. Okay, but you wasn't married then. I'm married now. This is an odd way to show in love, Mama. That's it. This is an odd way to show in love. That's it. I love her. That's it. No, you don't. I don't want her in my life. I don't but want her in my kids' me. life. Because all she is is drama. Drama? How about drama. you? Because I How about you, about Mama? Are you calling her drama? How about you? When, when Brittany hears, I didn't want you, I wanted to terminate the but pregnancy, I, I don't want to be around I you, be I don't like you, and okay, I don't want to... Oh. Okay, let me, ask, let me ask you this question. What? Did I just put that in there, or was there a comment before that? You text me when I left your house, going back to New Mexico with my father, you said if you go back with your dad, I don't want nothing to do. You disowned me from the minute I got to Iowa. And why did you get mad? If I abused you, I put you in a drawer, I put you in a freezer, I did all these things. Why would you want to be in my life? Let's do this. You have a sibling, a sister, that you've never physically... I don't want to meet her. She back there showing out. She could stay back there. Well, but you jealous this. of her, she... remember? Jealous you of run who? your mouth on Facebook all the time. And you don't. We're jealous. We have the proof. We this, we that. But because you said something first, little girl, little I told you to leave girl, me alone. I'm grown. I'm grown I told you to leave me alone. I'm, I'm going to go backstage I did a good and meet the sister, Brittany, and never met. I'm Stay right talking. there. We're coming back. Oh Th this God. is your one time she wants to reunite with her blood sister, she and that's you. You want to reunite with her blood sister? Yeah. And but you don't you want to meet your sister? Me jealous. I'm not jealous. Don't you want to meet her? No. We got to meet her. You no, got to meet her. I'm going to go right back to 
Catch my Then I bought this What? Oh, we don't Whoa! I'm about Let's do this. I do not think it is a good idea for these two sisters to reunite in this climate. The emotions are too high. We may try later on, but I don't think it's going to work. My goal is to reunite this family. My goal is not to cause problems. This is a problem because they can't get along and they've never physically met. Imagine if they do meet what's going to happen. I can't take responsibility. And I don't want her back up on that dishy drama. And she believed liars. I'm telling her, I told her the truth. I thought I would do anything to show you I'm telling you the truth. You're not, you're not. She don't believe me. So what else am I supposed to do? She makes me want to hate her. Will these sisters finally reunite? Hey, but where's the paperwork, Bill? Bill where's the police know. report, I don't Bill? I don't, know. I don't know either. Don't so know. obviously they're lying, right? What, do you want to meet her? Another mother confrontation that you can't miss. You stood in my damn face, That's your mama. That's your mama. That's your mama. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. All right, welcome back. It may not be good, may not be healthy, may not be safe at this point, to have Britney's sister Nichelle with Britney, so we're going to wait on that. But I want she, she, she come out here. Anybody, I, I, anybody gonna touch her? She can come out here. No, nobody gonna touch her. We may do that, but tell me your side of the story. She's the, a liar, Bill. You, you, you've never am met I, her. Am I abused? I was not abused, Bill. You I was not abused. Can, can you put yourself in her place for a moment? That she I have. she heard stories she I was. Have. She heard stories she was thrown aside. She heard stories she wasn't loved. And whether it's true or not, I don't know. In her mind, she was abused, neglected, ignored. And when some one time she connects with her birth mother and possibly with her sister, she is then getting into a big fight. It's ugly. It's terrible. Can, can you put yourself in her shoes just for a moment and understand from her I did. perspective? I did, Bill. Before she even, before she moved to my mom's house, I've been telling her, why would, why would you pack your <laughs> Sorry. Why would why you, pack, would you your, pack your stuff? Your stuff to move with people that you don't know. Because it's her mother. I understand and that. It's her sister. I understand that. But if I was a doctor, she I would a family. And, Charlotte, and I would go visit my mother. I'm not gonna pack my stuff and leave school, my apart on my own apartment. But to me, my mom. That shows right. you the depth yeah, right. of love she has yeah, for right. her family. I wish I would. Why I wish I would miss out on school. Why are you angry? Because she was, she, she brought she brought us on Bill Cunningham show to air out dirty laundry. That's but you came. Needed. She came not to air laundry. Yes, but she did. Connect. Yes, she did. She wants a relationship. She put on Facebook all this stuff. We were gonna reunite. Two sisters together. You've never physically seen her, correct? No, but I talked to her on the phone. <laughs> that was enough. She's gullible. She's dumb. What do you want from this? What do you want from this? What do I want? Yeah. I want her to stop all the <laughs> I want her to move on with her life. Stop, stop her <laughs> ass and move on with your life. Like, come on. Now everybody's perfect. Get over it. You grown. You 19 years old. Get over it. Why got me all this drama? What, do you want to meet her? I couldn't marry my house. Why got me on Bill Cunningham show? I couldn't marry home. She why, wanted why am I here she set drama, this right? up. She's the she sure did. She, she sure did. She sure did. She got what she wanted. Drama. What's your relationship with your mom? Why well, she was fine with my mom? Oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we fight. That's it what Come she on. wants. She wants the relationship you have with your with her mom. You share the same mother. We she sure wants do. that relationship. We sure do. Yeah. Bill, and guess what? I you know she's lying about. She moved to Iowa with my mom. This child is on my face. But can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. Go what's up? Um, I don't like it here. I'm having mixed emotions, but I want to stay. I don't know what I want to. What, what, what do you want to do then? She, do she's do? confused and she's she wants love with her family. Why won't you accept the love she wants to give? Because she disrespected my mom too many times. On Facebook, you did, call mama the whole. Maybe is. I don't feel comfortable putting you two in the same room, oh, much Lord. less on the same stage. I don't feel comfortable doing that because I can't trust. Either one. Mm -hmm. I know how upset you were. And if that's the person on this stage, I don't want to take responsibility. What relationship do you want with Brittany? I don't know if I can have one with her. She's too disrespectful. I understand, like, my mom. But do you think you disrespected on. her a little bit? What did I disrespect her about on Facebook? I don't Here. Care. What I saw backstage. <gasps> don't care. You, you were think, ready to you claw think, her I eyes sure out. Was. I sure was. You, don't sit on this stage. 
Don't pay, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't just like my mom on stage. Don't do that. What do you want to see? I don't happen? care. What do you want to see happen? She pushed. Because of the way she acted with your mother and exactly. her mother, that's what sent you over the edge. It sure did. You don't think I'm touching my death and my mama. I don't <laughs> she is wrong. I'm Michelle, damn. you don't disrespect my mama. What do we do now? Tell her to come outside. Tell her to come out here. I want, I want to hear a side of the story that she was abused, put in a freezer. She was in a drawer. She was, t well, I don't know if it's true or false. She, I think it's a lie. She was told that. Oh, really? But where's the paperwork, Bill? Where's the police know. report, I don't Bill? I don't know. I don't know either. Don't so know. obviously they're lying, right? Yes. She might believe it, whether it's true or not. And if that's stupid. That's how gullible you are. Why are you so gullible? I don't believe it. If that disbelief. was me, I would have been like, okay, um, can I, I don't believe. Can I look up on the internet how all this no. stuff? I don't no? believe or disbelieve. I, I don't know. She's dumb. I don't like her because she's <laughs> respectful. I don't want to see her. We have more coming up. Stay right there. The bitter family battle you've been waiting for. Another bond at its breaking point. Why does he owe you one? If anything, we owe each other. For 11 years, you didn't know this. That's because of the blaming everybody else. Okay. Take responsibility. I can't get in her. Were you taken from your family when you were a kid? Do you want to reunite with your parents and find out why they didn't fight to get you back? We'd like to help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call right now. I know I used to do drugs, but that was a long time ago. I would have been a great mother if I was given a chance, but I wasn't. Anthony, lose that chip on your shoulder and get over yourself. That family's in need of help. Later in the show, we're going to bring back Brittany, most likely alone, to talk about the problems. Deadbeat, neglectful moms or ungrateful kids who expect too much of their moms. My next guest has an answer, but is it the right one? Take a look at this. Today is the day I get the truth from my mother. Growing up, my mom was addicted to drugs and never around. When I was 11, I found out the woman I was living with wasn't even my real mom. Everything I ever believed was a lie. My real mom? has never even bought me a pair of shoes. After my real mom gave birth to me, she thought her job was done. She raised two other kids and singled me out to be unloved, alone, and homeless. I deserve to know why. Please welcome Anthony to the show. Anthony, how you doing? How you doing, man? Anthony, why are you here today, man? I'm here today to get answers out of my mom. I'm, 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 long story short, I'm fed up. I'm tired of all the lies. I'm tired of her constantly shooing me away every time I try to come and be with her she's pushing me away like I said over the last four years I probably not even spent 24 hours total with my mom really how old are you I'm 18 years old. 18 years old go back in time memories two three four five what happened there were none with her there were none, none. like Where I, was she? I didn't even know my mom was my mom until the age of 11 I didn't know the woman I was living with I thought was my mom and I found out that she wasn't on accident and there were everyone in our family knew, but no one decided it was a good idea. Hey, let's tell this kid before he gets too old. And then he's looking at all of us like we're crazy. How long was your mom lost to the world of drugs? A long time. Long time. And, long you, time. and you had other siblings. Long time. Were the, right. others, the other two siblings, uh, were they with your biological well, mom? Well, my older sister was with my biological mom for a minute. And then I don't know what happened with that. But... Uh, Right now, as of now, she has, she has custody of my younger sister, who was only six years old. And I was, at the age of 13, I was put in foster care. I what do you want to see happen today, Anthony? What do you want to see? I, at want, the answers, end of I want answers out of my mom. I want to I wanna know why she, does she want to have a relationship with me? Why, why does she, all these years, has she told me that she doesn't know who my father is? Does she really know who my father is? And does she just really not want to tell me? If you really don't know who my father is, once again, shows the character of her. You you want to connect with your, and the, and the other family we just had on, it didn't work so well at this right, point. Right. What do you want to see happen in your situation? I want a relationship with my, with my, I want a family, okay? I want a family, but like I said, hey, she ain't do none of this. I can hold down three jobs, you hear me? She ain't do none of this. I'm telling you. I'm self-made. Right. Please welcome Anthony's mother, Jasmine, to the show. Jasmine, come on out. Let me tell you something. You out here laughing while all these people. Don't come out, man. Don't 
Don't get in my face, bro. Don't get in my face. Let him know. Let him know. And make sure you let him know where you was at. Make sure you, like I said, self-made. Let's go. John, I want to hear your story, Jasmine. What about the drugs, the crack? Okay, okay, okay. First of all, Bill, first of all, yes, I did use. I did use. I used for many years. But even it, even in my use, even in my drug use, I found a way. I had him. And when I had him, I was in the treatment center. And during that treatment center, it was like a six-month treatment center. I say like at the last end, like maybe about, I was there about five months getting ready to uh, affirmate from the program. Right. And I was coming home on home visits, and I relaxed. Where was he this time? He was with me. He was with you. He oh, was with me. In the rehab center? Yes, he was with me. In the rehab center? Maybe in the rehab center. Up until eight months old. From the hospital, I, I left, saying? and I went to the rehab center, and he was, was with me. Was he a crack me. baby? No, he was not a crack baby. Hey, so he if, if he went from the hospital baby. to the they rehab center. Tell you, Bill, they said he had a trace of cocaine in his system. That means he's a crack No, that does not mean he's a crack baby, because he was not. You can't be a little bit. He was not he, he, had crack in it. He, had he, crack. Had, he had cocaine in his system. There was a trace of it. Where did that come from, really Mama? It came from me. Yeah. But understand this, too. Like I said, when I went to this treatment program, I stayed. I had about a week or two to be affirmated. And during this week or two, I went home on a home trip, and I relapsed. And during this relapse was when I called my mother to come get Anthony so that Anthony would not have to suffer and that he would so with a he relapse, would be would you come that he cannot that, finish that, that, that says right he would there, be you in the be right there right that's that because right if there. I did that would I would have let, let you be out Okay, so yes, my mother being the mother. You saw it as an act of love because he, because I'm out in the street. You were smoking bass as an act of love. Was that crack more important to you than Anthony? Yes, it was. 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 It you I wouldn't give up him. crack, but you I gave up Anthony. I, no, I didn't give him up. Yeah. So for the next 10 years, you were still in the world of drugs for the next 10 years. Yes, what do I you want to see him. happen today? But what I want to see happen, first of all, I want question, him to stop question. blaming me. Forget the next 10 years. I want years. him to stop Forget blaming the next me 10 years. for Are him still on drugs. Be, for Are him to be a bomb drugs? and not do nothing with his life. Is he a bomb and a thief? He's a thief. He came to my house. He stole from a 7-year-old sister. And his stepfather, he stole from them. We have a lot more coming up. You stood in my damn face. That's your mama. That's your mama. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll free. 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Brittany will ever form a relationship with her mom and sister? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answer and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now. Today's about neglectful moms wanting answers. During the break, you two went at it hard. Tell, three jobs. All right, he has That's a question. Three jobs? Oh, no, what you mean? I I told him him are you still on drugs right now? No, I'm not. You're off. I told him to You're go off. get a Come job. On, yes, I am. I'm I told him to go get a job. He told me I had two and lost him. I'm only 18, man. I said, so that wasn't the job. You're 43 and got no job. That means you ain't going to try? Do you think she owes you an apology for what Yes. I do. I think he owed me one. I owe you an apology. One. Why does he owe you one? If anything, we owe each other. For apology. 11 years, you didn't know who was smoke base and give you because, one. That's because of our, my family member that he stop lived with. Stop blaming everybody else. Okay. Take responsibility. I can't get in her. No, you stop yeah. talking to everybody. You grown, and another thing, and another thing, another thing, another thing. You ain't got to keep hold on, hold on. Oh, one at a time, one time. You don't know me. You ain't got the right to say you know me. You don't know me. You still don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. One at a time. I got several family members. Jasmine, do you want a little apology? Just a little apology to Anthony. He didn't know who his mom was for eleven years. That's because of mine. That's because of where he was at. 
They chose not to tell you. Everything I did when he said that's your back, job to tell him, him that, my son. How to get to it? How to get to it? How you gonna get to me? Get to the same way you get into the crack. That's how you can get to me. One at a time. Man, go ahead. At the age of thirteen. I was put into the foster care system. Because you chose to go. We're legally. You chose to go. I was sitting hey, at the table. See hey, 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 him? Hey, my mother. He came here because he loves you. He's here because he loves you. He, 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 he don't come yo, to this table with me. He yo, can do what the hell he wants to do. One thing I don't do, do. I don't and play the game. I told him, you can't do what the hell you want to do in my house. Let me do this. Chill. Time out. Time out. Because I use drugs. Let me say something. No, 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 let me say something. Let me say something. You came here for this reason. 18 years old. He contacted the show and he said he wants a relationship with his mom. He can have Do you want a relationship with him? Yes. Do you I want, want a relationship, relationship with, her? with all my kids? I want a good but I, but I don't want to do it. He's not going to do it. not the way to do it. He can keep it stepping, man. How about respecting him and him with his mother? Man, I can keep you pushing him. How about he disrespect you? You get what you give. Exactly, Bill. Show respect. And I don't have no problem. All right, here we go. Where do we go from here? Do you want a relationship with your son? Why he say that? And you couldn't. I'll yes or no? Yes, yes. This is one hell of a way to show it right here. Yes. You got to stop. Yes. It begins with you. That's all I'm saying. I want to be open. He got 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 to be He got to stop living in the past. What's your name? Open as he got to stop. You got to stop living in the past. We're going to keep living in the past. We can't go. We can't go for it. Anthony, sit back, man. 18 years. Sit back. Everyone, no, back. we can't go for it. No, don't I keep stop, taking stop, me stop, back. Stop. Jasmine, let me. I'm, I'm going to go one at a time. Jasmine, what is your thoughts about how you develop a relationship with your son? I'm going to hear from Jasmine, and I'm going to hear from you, Anthony. What do you want to see happen today? First of all, since since we've been talking here, um, we've been we've been at a hollering match. Okay? We need to talk and not Okay, we ain't we we, we haven't even been talking. It is. Can you tell him who his daddy is? No, I don't know. Why who not? Your, I why don't not? know who why your don't daddy you know is. Who my daddy is. I don't know who why your daddy is. Why don't you know who my daddy is? I don't know who why your daddy is. Why don't you know who my daddy is? What you mean? I don't know because I was why? using drugs. Isn't that hard for a man there? not to know who his daddy is? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Bill. But I'm not gonna sit here and tell him a lie either. You can never. That took a whole lot for me to tell him. You can't forget, but you can forget. Why don't you read my this? You want to know who? You laid down in bed with and no, I, a, no. a few weeks before you got pregnant. I'm like you. I'm like you. That's problem with. I have past, but see, I'm going forward in do, my do life. How do you and go I'm forward? Like you, and I'm like you. Do I you, don't have a problem with me. Do you hear my mom. You All right, do it. All right, let's do it. Let's hear words from mama to the son about what you've done in the first 18 years of his life. Yeah, Let me hear what you have. Honest, this heartfelt. Look him in the eye. Not, no what, talking. The first 18 years of his life? Tell him. Tell the him first it. 18 years of his life? Are you life, regretful? I, be, I, I, I regret. Tell yes, him. Yes, I regret. I regret not being there. And even when I first went to the penitentiary and I stayed, and you don't even remember this. How exactly. do we move from this day forward? How, exactly. And you see, and he's stuck there. You live a he couple miles let, from the unit close. He won't, he won't even let me. He won't even let me talk. So if I can't talk, <laughs> let her talk. I'm being a mother and um, everything. I, okay, and I, are, you I so, it, are you sorry for what you did? Yeah, I'm sorry for Tell not being Do you accept life. her apology? Because I had him. She going to have to show me, Bill. She going to have to show me. Okay, okay. Well, it don't work she about have just show showing you. She you got to show me. She got, what I got to show to you? You got to show me. You got, got to show me. You 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 got to show me. And all something. kind of stuff. I ain't something. said that to you. you Anthony's you turn, Mama. Anthony, okay. go ahead. Accept an apology. You never, ever forget, but you got to forgive. You got to move forward. Let, let, let him talk. Anthony, what do you want to see happen today? To be honest, Bill, I, I, I don't even know. You feel me? I, I don't. I don't. And at this point, at this point, it, it, it's... Heart, it's honest, heartfelt. What do you feel? At this exact moment right now, I don't care. Because I, 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 she, she, she says, I need to learn some respect. <laughs> No, I don't. I, I I don't disrespect you. I don't disrespect you until you start disrespecting me. You well now 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 now. Had you have been a good mother and Anthony, been there for 18 years of my life, you wouldn't get disrespected. You would get treated like a I'm queen. Good. You would get treated like a mother. Okay. How do you expect you. me to I'm treat you like a mother? You, you like to take Are you done with him, me, bro? You ignorant, baby. I'm done with it. If he can't if he can't get past what's in the past and move forward, I'm not gonna keep beating myself up about it. Okay. I'll say this. On, okay. on, on her side of the table, I'm not going to keep this up. the thing about it? So it's how over. Many, how many it's times, over. How many times? It's over. Y'all don't even know how many times we done had this conversation. Lady, how many we times we been?
let's move on. on. It's let's time move to move on, on Anthony. Let's it's move time on. to move on. I've been oh. My to audience says they're saying it's next. Stay back. Stay back. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. Were you taken from your family when you were a kid? Do you want to reunite with your parents and find out why they didn't fight to get you back? We'd like to help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call right now. Closed captioning of the bill. Now, had you been a good mother and been there for 18 years of my life, you wouldn't get disrespected. You would get treated like a queen. And unwanted. Why did you get six and not the seven? I didn't want her. You don't want her. You want me to lie? We waited neck deep through the pain and outrage of being an abandoned child. Here to help get our guests back on dry land is psychologist Robbie Ludwig. Robbie, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Let's go to Brittany first. Brittany, before Robbie weighs in, we've seen a lot of drama from your sister and from your mother, but mainly your sister. You all came here with the idea of being together. What happened? What's in your heart right now? I'm just hurt. I don't... I don't know how to explain it. I keep crying because it's like I spent all these years wanting to know my mom and to get that, I regret looking for her and finding her. Robbie, what do you say to Brittany? I mean, I, I want to cry with Brittany because it's, uh, you know, the, your mother is the person who ideally is supposed to be the person who offers you unconditional love. And so this feeling, but we don't all get mothers who give that. There's an idealization of motherhood that if you're a mother, you're the right mother for your child. And that's simply not the case. And sometimes the type of support we need doesn't come from our birth mother. It comes from other mentors that we seek out and we find. And you know what? That's okay. What about Michelle? What do you do now when you have this reaction from Nichelle, which is so angry, having never met Brittany, she's over the top. What would you say to Brittany about Nichelle? Well, Michelle, even though you biologically have the same mother, in some ways you got a different mother, right? Because you got the rejecting mother, and Michelle got a mother who was there for her. Michelle is protecting her mother, and she sees Brittany as the enemy. And maybe that will resolve itself, maybe not. But the bottom line is you deserve, and you need to get treatment so you can find a way to create room in your life where you say, I deserve to be loved in the right kind of way. And Robbie, right now that whole relationship is too toxic. Let it go for, for a while. For right now, and I think you need to be at a different place. If you are at a place where you say, my life is successful, I've found good people in my life, I'm doing what I know I'm meant to do, and then you revisit your mother, it might be a different scenario. She feels too guilty to apologize to you. I think that's she the case. She feels too guilty. Uh, Robbie, we've got Anthony and Jasmine. Anthony was born with a little bit of cocaine in his system. Mom was in rehab. And now the relationship with Jasmine is very difficult. And Anthony wants the relationship. Jasmine wants the relationship. Otherwise, physicality, they wouldn't be here together in the same space. But look at the body language. Where do we go from here? Well, there, there's anger and there's disappointment. So your mother had an addiction when you were born. And on some level, she felt that she couldn't give you what you needed. And in some ways, she really protected you. Unfortunately, what happened was there were secrets and lies. And I don't know why that happened, but that complicated the relationship. The fact of the matter is we like to think relationships are unconditional, but no relationship is unconditional. There are conditions in all relationships, okay? I see people nodding their head. So I know that you're upset with your mother. And I know, I'm sure you feel upset with the way things have gone. I read that there was some things that made it difficult for your mother to be around you, some of your behaviors. 
Maybe. Which exhibited anger. Maybe. Maybe. So yeah. you need to figure out how to be the type of son that your mother wants to All be right. around. Look, Robbie, look, Jasmine, can you say, I'm sorry. It shouldn't have happened. You cannot change one second of all the yesterdays, but you can change the days, weeks, and months of tomorrow. Yeah. So how about today starting a different relationship without retribution, without revenge from you, Anthony, and a feeling that from this day on, I'll be your son if you'll be my mother. But the thing is, maybe they can get treatment together. Absolutely. So they can learn how to be the right parent and the right son for each other and learn about each other and learn how to give each other what the two of you need and also to grieve for the lost past. Yes. And, and all the upsets And if we can help lost. a little bit with that process, Anthony, we're going to do it. I see there's possibilities I see hope here. Here, I have a there sense of hope for, for now. For now. For Brittany to find that she is deserving of love even if she happened to be born to a mother who couldn't show her that. For now, it's hopeless, but believe me. Can you me, take that message in, though? Yes. Tomorrow okay. is another day. All right. When we continue, is the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google+. Plus, or follow me on Instagram because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's unedited, unfiltered, and unbelievable. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Brittany will ever form a relationship with her mom and sister? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answer and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now. If you've been abandoned by a parent or anyone else, here's the bottom line. There's no point in placing blame. It won't make things better and will probably make things worse. You may have questions, and you have a right to ask all those questions, but you have to accept the answers you get, even though they're not the answers you want. In order to live in a peaceful present, you've got to leave the past where it belongs in the past. And I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. accomplished a lot to not have my mother. And seeing as how far I've gotten, you know, she was 19 with three kids. I'm almost 20 with no kids. You know, it's like, that gives me ambition to be better, but at the same time, it's like, I wish I could be like my friends and have that mommy-daughter relationship, but that's not. She has issues beyond me. And I can't, I can't make someone love me. I can't make someone want to be in my life. And she made that clear that she doesn't want it. So, and I don't want her coming back like, now I want it. No. She's shown me too many times prior to this that she doesn't want a relationship with me, so 